How to construct an inscribed circle to a triangle? It is an important geometry construction at school level mathematics. In this animation video, we are going to learn the total procedure. Remember, at school level examination, generally a construction problem may consist of two separate stages. In the first stage, you are to construct the specified triangle. And then, in the second stage, you will draw the inscribed circle. To learn the first stage that is construction of triangle, please check other videos from this channel. In this animation video, we are going to learn the second stage that is the construction of the inscribed circle. So, without any delay, let's start. At first, a random triangle is drawn on the middle of the page. Remember, do not draw arbitrary triangle. In school level examination, you have to draw the specific triangle as directed in the question. Let this triangle be named as triangle A, B, C. Now place the spike of the compass at point B and draw an arc between the arms B, A and B, C. Two intersection points are P and Q. Then place the spike on point P and draw an arc to the opposite side of the point B. A similar arc should also be drawn making point Q as center. Let these two arcs intersect each other at point U. Then, using a ruler and a pencil, draw a line segment to connect these two points and extend it. Thus we get the bisector of the angle A, B, C. Next we are going to bisect the angle A, C, D. In the same manner as we did earlier. Thus we get another bisector called C, V. Let these two bisectors connected at point W. This point W will be the center of the inscribed circle. To get radius of the inscribed circle, we need to draw an arc of a certain radius from point W so that it intersect the line B, C twice. These two points of intersection be named as point X and point Y. Two more arcs are drawn, taking point X and point Y as centers. These two arcs joined at point Z. Now, with the help of a ruler and a pencil, point Z and point W are connected. This line intersected the arm B, C at point N. Thus, W, N will be the radius of the inscribed circle. Finally, the inscribed circle can be drawn by making point W as the center and taking length W N as radius. Thank you for watching the video.